Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, I uh, wanted to uh, bring on a special guest, and I'm putting him on the spot um, at the moment. Um, he had no idea that I was doing this to him. So uh, if you're a new listener, welcome. We've got some phenomenal content from you uh, for you uh, today. If you have been on this podcast, welcome back. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate everything that you do, and I love the support. Uh, today, I wanted to um, bring on a special guest and introduce um, the why behind uh, what I do and ultimately um, what what does it mean to have passion for the place that you work? Um, how do you know if this is a, um, uh, a long-term deal? How do you know if it's uh, the place where you want to be? Uh, what does that feel like? And in order to answer that question, um, I wanted to bring on somebody so you can hear it firsthand. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Kenshin, uh, the man, Nagasaka. <laughs> I always have to say his name like that. Uh, it just brings me joy. So um, yeah, Kenshin, I'm putting you on the spot, and, and I apologize in advance for this. I love your hair. It looks fantastic. Uh, we are recording this on uh, for our YouTube channel as well. So if you guys are uh, visual uh, people, uh, go ahead and check it out. But um, Kenshin, I asked you a question. Um, you know, I, a little backstory for Kenshin. Kenshin is um, our first team member here on the uh, Dr. Chris Garcia side. Uh, he's been an intern with us at Sports Performance for a couple of years uh, and um, has recently just moved through the ranks and helped us out tremendously as a company. And I asked him a really basic question. I said, um, uh, we are it's uh, we're, we're looking for a marketing assistant and new roles uh, within sports performance but at the bigger level I asked him a really simple question and this is going to help kind of frame kind of where you guys are at and it's a good refresher because you need to hear this sometimes in life um, Kenshin I asked you you know um, what what do we need to look for how do we get Kenshins on sports performance how do we get people who like love um, being here and, and being part of this team, part of the mission. And um, I just generally want you to answer, like, don't stage it. I really just want you to answer, like, what what do we need to look for? And, and you can change out the words marketing assistant for PT, for front desk, for anything else. And this is pertinent to the listeners because I think that um, wherever you work, whether you work in a uh, physical orthopedic physical therapy place or you're in pro sports or you're a student and you want to work somewhere or you've worked in other places um, this is relevant to anything to everywhere so um, Kenshin uh, very openly uh, how do we what do we need to look for in uh, future team members and uh, I'll explain how this all comes together yeah what do we need to look for you said it um, what attracted me to sports performance initially was the family setting here mm -hmm. that you can't really find in other companies mm -hmm. sometimes it depends on where you work and how but what attracted me was the family setting here and then what kept me here was my passion for sports performance as well mm -hmm. sports performance is about family and if you don't develop that relationship first with whoever you're working with it's really difficult to continue that relationship and it's really difficult for you to grow from that relationship. When I was originally here as in just as an intern, it went from me thinking, oh, I'm going to just be an intern here and then I'm going to move on. But then it developed into something where I was assigned with more responsibilities and more tasks, where I noticed that I was being more relied upon here as mm. you would as in a family relationship. Once that starts to develop and the trust begins to build, then it makes you want to stay. It makes you want to be here. And I feel like that's what kind of drove me to stay here for so long and eventually take on this marketing position. But um, yeah, definitely that family relationship, you can't really get anywhere else. Yeah. So, you know, in, um, the listeners out here, they, they, like I said, they, they might have been practicing five years, 10 years, two years, two months. They might be in third year in PT school or they're aspiring to be a physical therapist. And so you get the whole gamut. Um, but you said something earlier um, when I originally asked you, and you said, you know, um, wh what type of person do we need? And you said, really simply, you said, um, somebody who wants to be here for the mission. Like, yes. What we do. Like, what is it? And I, I promise listeners, this relates to everything that you do for the companies you work with. And, um, but it, it, you, you have to remember, you know, Kenshin is, is uh, going into PD school soon and he has that fire and that passion. And my point to this is that 
sometimes in your profession, you lose that passion. You lose sight of what you really want. And sometimes it takes some young blood to be reignited and to hear Kenshin say some of these things. It, it's like, it fuels the fire in, in my heart because uh, to me, the mission um, to helping people like yourself, your, you guys, you listeners is fueled by this. Like I've been doing this thir 13 years and I still feel like I'm a new grad. I'm just like filled with questions and whys and always reflecting on every single session, every intern that comes in, every team member that comes on. I'm like, how can I make this better? What do I need to do? How do I make them better? How do I make myself better? What do I need to do to adapt to this new challenge? And, uh, you know, Kenshin, what you said, it was very, very important to me. Um, you said that person needs to be here for the mission. Um, what do you mean by that? Um, the, the philosophy, the mission of sports performance uh, is to grow, is yeah. to grow and impact more people along the entire world. And to do that, you have to contribute. Yeah. And to be able to contribute, I mean, I'm not a physical therapist yet. Mm -hmm. I have no experience in the field as much as I would like to. I, I don't have the experience or the knowledge yet to be able to impact somebody's life mm -hmm. through their health and through fitness. Mm -hmm. But what I can contribute are skills that I've acquired and have also acquired here at Sports Performance. Mm -hmm. So being able to contribute my time, being able to contribute my skills mm -hmm. to the growth of this company was my goal from the beginning. And so for the last two years, that's just elevated into getting just something bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, what, what, uh, for, cause you know, some of these listeners might be in places where they like love it and they're passionate about it. Others like so, so they don't have some coworkers that maybe they'll get along with whatever it is. Uh, can you give me, what, what's the, the thing that keeps you like, what's the, what do you look forward to, um, when you come into, uh, sports performance, whether that's, uh, uh, the, the energy, the, the, the culture, the work, the attire, like wh what is it? Um, and then we'll put that in perspective. I think uh, what really, again, from what I said in the beginning was the family relationship. Mm. Like I Fair. said, that's difficult to find in any type of company. It really is where you walk in and people, the first question they ask you is, how's your week? How are you doing? How's life? The people here really understand that your personal life isn't a cutoff. It, there isn't a cutoff from your personal life to your, uh, to your professional it really does bleed in together and it's very a co cohesive type of unit. If you have a bad personal life, then it does bleed into your professional. If you have issues in your professional, it bleeds into your personal. And that's one of the biggest lessons I've learned here because I have had bad weeks in my personal life where I have involving school or relationships. And the second I walk into this facility, Dr. Chris is already like, hey, what's wrong? What's going on in your personal life? Because you know, it's obviously affecting your professional. So yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. that that's very difficult to attain in a company. And yeah. yeah. Um, and, and I think that um, the, the most challenging part is that it's hard to find that in, um, in wherever you work. Right. Um, but it comes from the top down, like just making sure that the, the people you work with um, all have that same fire, that same passion. And, um, you know, the it, I, some people have called it the cheers of uh, physical therapy. And if, for those of you listeners who don't even know what cheers is, it's an old uh, uh, sitcom and um uh, TV show uh, where, you know, people come into a bar and they just knew their name. And to me, uh, that's always been the focus. And I think that's important for listeners to hear that you got to love where you work. And um, if you don't remember this, uh, you spend more time with the people at work than you do with your partner sometimes. And that's, or kids, right? Like, let, let that marinate in that brain a little, let it sizzle. Because the number of hours that you're at work, let's do commuting and commuting to and from work. For some people, that's 45 minutes, half hour. And then you spend eight to 10 hours there, plus documentation, plus everything else. And then you go home, you actually sleep. And the time you're sleeping doesn't count as like productive time and with your partner and life and everything else. So actually work is life for a lot of people. And if that's going to be the case, you better love where you work. And I'm in I really just wanted to share this podcast ultimately to like reignite, make sure like, why are you doing this? Do you have the right place? And uh, I think that, you know, in 2020, uh, you know, during the pandemic, 2020 was fuel for people to 
think about is this does this life uh, still fuel me right whether that was partners or uh, school or a new job or whatever it was and so um, coming off of that I really think it's important for you to understand that uh, sometimes it takes a good conversation with a with an intern, a good human being, uh, to reignite um, what it is that you you do. And so, uh, you know, uh, Kenshin, after having this conversation, just fuel that fire again. Like, why do I do this? I, I, I do it for people like Kenshin. I do it for people who are about growth on this planet. I, I my mission is to have a global impact and and really get people to think differently. And um, sometimes this conversation might be a little deep for like new people to our world. They're like, why are you guys talking? Why are you so like touch? you feeling about this like no 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 it this is life 101 and the only way that you get productive with um growing professionally i'll be honest with you this is i'm going to say a thousand times and you it'll sink in your head in like 3.5 years after you've listened to enough of my stuff if if you are not growing personally you're not reading books you're not talking to your partner you're not um, developing your skill set you're not thinking about developing who you are not just your skill like your skill is only one component your skill set is not what gets people better. It's who you are. People are attracted to you, the way you make them feel. And if you work on that developing who you are, believe it or not, your outcomes get better. Now you have to have some skill behind that. And I, I understand that. I'm just saying there's a large portion, I didn't say 80%, is the feeling that you provide to people during a session, the feeling that you allow them to have of motivation, of inspiration. In, you know, Kenshin should have, could have got an internship somewhere else. I don't care where he goes. He can do that all he wants. But the reason why he stays is because he realizes that there's more than just folding towels and doing laundry and all this stuff. And on our side, on the professional side, it's more than just like treating ankles and backs. It's having an impact on them to push them to do more, to allow them to see that there's a bigger light. And sometimes insurance is a is a block to that. And um, I think that it, it's never like about a cash pay service or a wellness service or a, a cash based PT practice. What it is about is giving people a window and letting them see what you can help them with. But I think ultimately you have to see what you do for people um, in order to communicate that better. And so from an intern level, we try and help them see that this is more than just a profession for um, treating knees and uh, and backs and giving them exercises and everything else. It's more about understanding that in your professional life, you're going to um, meet amazing people and they're going to inspire you to do more. And some of these people are patients and clients. Other people, it's going to be team members. And once you, once you do that, you ride that wave and you allow them to become bigger, better, stronger, faster, and ultimately be better than you. And what that does is you create a platform and people are naturally attracted to that. So if you're a PT, athletic trainer, Cairo, massage therapist, whatever it is, and you're listening to this and you don't, you're, you're around people who don't inspire you, you got to reevaluate that. And whether you're an intern or, you know, you're in PT school or whatever it is, um, I hope that you find that. Um, I'm always seeking that feeling. Um, I'm very grounded in, in my weekly routine and who I am and my relationship with my amazing wife, Steph, and our kids. And, and um, uh, that's important to me. If I have that, my fitness, my nutrition, and my sleep like locked in, that means my professional career is sound as well. Um, so, uh, Kenshin is learning that little by little, uh, with me in his ear every single day or every time he comes in, uh, to understand that. And he attended our first uh, team meeting and, uh, he was very surprised, uh, by how deep some of these conversations were, uh, because ultimately that's what helps our patients and clients feel the energy in, uh, what we do as a company. And, um, this is not about me or sports performance or Kenshin. This is about, figuring out uh, why it is that you're at work, why it is that you're actually doing, wasting you know, 47 hours at commute plus work at a facility that has taken away time from yourself and your family and your kids. Uh, it's ultimately to find a feeling and um, to really enjoy life and, and enjoy that. Uh, for some of you, I understand this is pretty heavy. Uh, you'll understand as we, as we go on. I, uh, I look forward to the journey that you finally clicks and you send me a message and say, I get it now. I get it. Uh, Kenshin, uh, is all that makes sense? Um, what else would you add to them? And you, you've been on the, been in the family for a few years and you've had some big takeaways um, and now you're joining on um, uh, our team as you go on to it. Um, anything else to add uh, to what I just said? Um, I, I just got to say, I love this family. Cool. And I hope to contribute to it even after PT school. Mm -hmm. Anything that I can throw in, I will. Yeah. I'm very excited for what's to come for sports performance. 
Awesome, 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 awesome. I promise uh, that we did not pay Kenshin to say any of these. Uh, this is voluntary. <laughs> voluntary. So um, I, uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, Kenshin, welcome. For, uh, thank you for doing this on the spot. No practice, no nothing. I literally just said, stop talking. Let me record this. Uh, so Kenshin, <laughs> look, he's all sweaty uh, and a fresh new haircut. Uh, but uh, thanks, guys, for listening. I, this is um, this is the, the, my passion. This is everything that I do. And if you continue to listen and, and tune in, uh, come along this damn journey. This and you're gonna love it. it it's just finding out uh, what you do for people and like what you do for yourself. It's just magical. And once you find this like inner sense of like what you do and you enjoy it and you like love your relationships and everything that you do uh work is so much fun and i hope you feel that and for you new listeners don't don't go off the deep end yet don't don't just give me don't don't tell me like this guy's crazy just don't do that yet hold on give me a couple chances listen to a couple of my podcasts um nonetheless thank you guys for tuning in uh, we'll see you on the next episode see you guys.